Hello everybody, this is Wolrig, and we're on episode 40? Yes, 40. Episode 40 of Infinity Evolved. I have put together a 16k crafting storage setup here uh, because I want to do something... I want to craft a lot of stuff. I want to craft a bunch of cryothium dust. I want to craft about 800 of them, in fact. Um, it, it's only going to take 3,000 bytes. I have 16,000. Um, I got everything else I need, though. So hit the go button. I'm going to let that run for a while. Because, yeah, look at that thing go. Meanwhile, while that's running, I need to work on some other things. So one of the things that I want to do is, if we look at our fuel supply of Eulorium, uh, we're getting a little low here. 581. Um, I do have some ore, you know, 16 blocks of ore. That's not a lot. Um, but I want to do something to deal with that. And what I want to do is I want to make a, uh, a block from Mine Factory Reloaded, which is called the Laser Drill. So there's a couple of components we need here. The laser drill is, uh, if we hold shift here, we see we need to place it over a hole to bedrock or to the void. So we have to have a hole all the way down to the ground, uh, straight down to bedrock. No water, no lava, no nothing in between. Um, the drill, though, doesn't do anything by itself. It needs these pre-chargers, which, as we can see, each one of them takes 5,000 RF per work. So the drill has to do so many, you know, so much work in order to mine. Um, so we need these pre-chargers. The pre-chargers are a bit tricky because they take this little thing called pink slime catalyst, which comes from pink slime blocks, which comes from pink slime, which comes from dungeon chests, and apparently nowhere else, except I know where it comes from. So there's another machine here called the Slaughterhouse. And what the Slaughterhouse will do... Let's go back to our pink slime. If we look at this, let's see... We want to look at the bucket of pink slime. So this would be the fluid pink slime right here. Here's where it comes from. So any animal, the larger animals produce more meat. So we can get liquid meat and pink slime out of this. The liquid meat I'm not so much interested in. Um, I'll just stick it in a drum. Um, but the pink slime is what I'm after. So that's what we need to do. We need to make a slaughterhouse um, and we need to spawn a bunch of cows. So I'm going to have to find a cow and spawn it. Uh, I've got my spawn room over there for my mobs, but let's go ahead and make a new one just for... Um, just for these guys. So let's make an auto spawner. Let's see what we've got on that. Need some magma cream. That's pretty easy to make. Fortunately, we've got blazes in the spawner over there too, so not a big deal. Although this is probably backlogged. Let's go ahead and pull that out for now. And put that back in. There we go. That should get us our blaze. Perfect. Um, spawner. Nope, not that one. That one. The other pieces that I need... Looks like I need one of these. Redstone reception coil. Oops. Come on. If I push the right button... Nope. Quit shift clicking. Oh, good lord. I'm just pushing buttons now. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, that one. And machine frame. That one. Need a tin gear. Actually, I probably had a machine frame in a recipe there somewhere, but that will do. Okay. Uh, let me finish getting this all put together. Then I'll be back very shortly. Okay, I have the auto spawner, I have the slaughterhouse, now I need some place to put this. And I think I'm gonna try to kind of line it up with this guy on the opposite side. Because underneath of here, 
I should be able to uh, I should be able to connect in somehow. Uh, it might be a little tricky, but I'll be able to connect into the um, um, power and the mob essence juice from uh, the other other side there. So clear this out a bit. I do need to find there's my holy mackerel. Why do I got so many of these forge hammers? Something tells me I have recipes that did not work right. Um, up here I should have, there it is, that hammer. That is the Mine Factory Reloaded Hammer. And what this is going to do, so the thing I'm not sure about is with the slaughterhouse, what the area of effect is on it. So if I put the hammer in my hand, it looks like it works in front of it. And it's a one, two, three, four, five. So it's a five by five block in front of the slaughterhouse. Okay, well that's good. Because the spawner actually works above itself. It actually works um, above and below, and it's a very large area. So the spawner is, we're gonna have to put it in a smaller area. The um, Actually, the slaughterhouse, does it have an upgrade slot? No, it does not. <laughs> Our wireless charger has uh, filled both of these machines with power. If you're wondering where the uh, power came from in that. So, hey, that's cool. Um, hmm, actually, probably wouldn't even have to run power over here. I have it, but uh, that's kind of funny. So, I'm going to clear some space out here. And, and then I'll be ready to go, hopefully, before too long, with a slaughterhouse. Be right back. Okay, I think I got this all set up. So I made the uh, spawn room back there a simple 5x5. Five five, and it's actually not going to work. I'm going to need to move the spawner back one, one more block. Yeah, one more block. So let's go ahead and do that. Because otherwise, whew, thunderstorm. Holy mackerel. Let's turn that down. Um, if I don't move it back, I'm going to get animals spawning in my base, which is not what I want. So let's go ahead and pop that off and that off. I've started making some. Uh, that way. Some of the non-opaque um, item duct or fluid ducts here, just so I can actually see that there's fluid in it. So by having this pushed back, the only place that these guys should be able to spawn is actually in this room. And if we look, um, Yeah, let's let's push it back one more for good measure. It shouldn't be a problem, but I want to make sure it's not a problem. So let's grab you and you and you. I got some chaos going over here in my uh, um, in my blood altar. The creepers be blowing stuff up. I'm probably gonna have to go fix that. They have a tendency to do that. Uh, creepers and skeletons don't like each other, and they blow each other up on occasion. That is in the wrong spot. Why didn't you tell me that was in the wrong spot? Gosh. Let's grab that, that, that. Come over, up, up. There we go. And a cover to make it look nice. There. Perfect. Well, good enough anyway. So now we should be all contained back in there. So that we shouldn't have any troubles with that. Um, the slaughterhouse is here. The slaughterhouse, of course, has the 5x5, five five, so it should be able to kill anything in that area. And I just want to show this because... Um, so we've got our flux-plated fluid duct here, and this is actually uh, running our mob essence through it. 
So that's just tied into the the line over there. So that's giving power and mob essence to feed the spawner. Uh, and then I've got a redstone energy flux duct junction here so that this is just transferring the power up because I'm going to get a completely different type of fluid. I'm going to get um, pink slime and liquid meat coming out of this. And that will be going over into these barrels. Uh, one of each. So the only thing we're missing now is a cow. And that's what this little safari net is for. So if we run over to the village, I think we may have some cows nearby. Let's go find out. Oh, it's nighttime. I should have slept through the night. Let's see. I have sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Looking for a cow. Oh, I see one up there. I see one over... There he is. Hey, Mr. Cow. Thank you. Come with me. Back home. Oh, man, that charged porter and everything makes this so nice. And, of course, it's out of my reach. We'll put that guy in. And we should start spawning cows. There's the cow. Cool. And we have meat and meat. That's not what I wanted. One of you needs to be pink slime. So pink slime actually uh, is pretty rare. It doesn't drop all the time. So we're going to have to let this run for a while to get enough pink slime to actually do anything with. Because even just getting pink slime, um, that still isn't enough. We need to do more. So I'm going to let this run. Oh my god, they killed Kenny! You bastards! Alright, <laughs> I'm going to let this run for a while while we uh, kill some cows. All right, well, in the time I've gotten 20 buckets of liquid meat, I've gotten two buckets of pink slime. So this stuff is, as I said, is pretty hard. It takes a while to generate. Um, I'm also burning through my uh, mob essence pretty quickly, which isn't a bad thing. I've got kind of a stockpile here, so... Um, so I've just got... I'm draining this drum into that uh, tank there, and that tank is backfilling the... Um, system here to make sure my spawner stays nice and full. So what do we do with this pink slime? If we want to make pink slime balls we need to... well gee I don't know what we need to do. Uh, actually I do. We need to throw this on the ground and spawn a pink slime. Yeah, let's go over somewhere that we're not gonna mess up too much. About here looks good. And what should happen is we should get some pink slime and start spawning. Anytime now. Anytime you're ready. Oh, there we go. There he is. And you'll just get one that spawns. Oh. Boy, I hope I got the uh, slime ball off of him. So my um, Well of Suffering killed him. Uh, which, I wonder if it's killing some of my cows. Could be. Could be, could be, could be. Let me... That's uh, unfortunate. Let me turn this off for a minute. Like so. I don't want to leave it off for too long because I do have some cursed earth up there. And that stuff is nasty. It's going to spawn lots of things. Alright, let's try this again. This time let's... Let's grab some stone here and kind of make a little corral. 
we go. Like so. Throw the pink slime in. And the hope is he spawns and gives me a slime ball. Yep, just like that. Perfect. I have one. Um, I need a few more because I need nine to make a block. So I've got some more work to do. And I should be able to, oops, I should be able to automate this a little bit. Let me see what I can come up with to automate this. Because I don't want to have to do this by hand. That could take all day. Okay, I think I've found the block that's going to save my life. Well, not really, but it's going to make this all a lot easier. And, of course, I already put it down, so you can't see it. Uh, it is a block in Mine Factory Reloaded called the Fountain. And if I can get to it here, I can show you where I've put it. Oops. Oh, there it is. I just broke it. Uh, so the Fountain. This guy here, pretty simple. Uh, it's got a tank for liquid storage. It has energy and all of the standard Mine Factory Reloaded things in it. Um, I just put it here because uh, basically what it's going to do is when it has a bucket of a fluid, it will place that source block um, directly above it. And that's all I want. I want it to place and then spawn the pink slime and then I'll just let these grinders do what they're, you know, what they do best. And let them kill the pink slime. And I should eventually end up with pink slime in that chest. I can probably take out the feathers, let it go in there instead. Uh, but in order to get that to work, what I've done here is I've kind of re-rigged the uh, barrels or the drums. So the meat drum, I want to be able to see that at all times because it's going to fill up and I want to be able to move it. I'll probably eventually just replace it with a, um, a liquid trash can. And I put a filter on here, and I've got that set to meat. So the liquid meat will have to go out that way. I've done the same thing with the pink slime. Uh, so the pink slime will go into that drum at all times. And the only thing I need to do now is make myself another servo. I don't need to use the resonant one, but I guess I'll just use this one. Um... And I've got a, the same kind of coupling here as I did previously because I want to, I basically want to use this drum as a buffer. So I want the pink slime to go into here and then I want another, uh, another method or another um, pipe fluid duct that pulls it out and sends it over to the uh, uh, fountain. So I've got the junction here for the power transfer between these two flux plated uh, pipes. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit this here, hit that there, and that's going to send the pink slime on over. It's going to drain it completely out of this tank, which is where this filter comes in, so that it can fill back up. And those guys are going to spawn, they're going to jump around, grinder's going to get them eventually. And there goes pink slime. Perfect. That's cool. That is going to save me a lot of grief. So now we're just going to close this all up because I don't need to see it anymore. And get a few more covers to get that all covered up. And that is a pretty well automated pink slime factory. Uh, whenever it gets to where it's going. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It moves really slowly through these pipes. I should look at uh, speeding these up at some point. Ta-da! Two pink slime. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and actually grab the feathers out of here and put pink slime in there instead. Oops. Perfect. Um, mainly because this chest is not tied to my AE system, so anything that ends up here and in here is just kind of on its own. This is all tied into the AE system. So once, once uh, I have a good supply of pink slime, as with the other uh, items here, this will all be visible. So I'm just going to let that run. 
uh, I did I do want to show you I did turn off my um, I did turn off my um, well of suffering up here because it was in fact killing my cows which is not very productive since I'm trying to kill them for their meat and slime okay so now I need to drain that off uh, do something else we're still trying to get to the power the power upgrade is what I really need to get to but um, we can't really do anything until we can get those laser drills going so let me see what else I can come up with okay I think I figured out something else I can do real quick so uh, this tesseract is currently set up as my main power my main wireless power source um, I've got a lever on it because right now as it sets uh, as soon as I turn this on it's gonna start sending power to the quarry I have in the end or not in the end in the uh, nether and you know that's that's good but I want to be able to turn this on without having to worry about that quarry going because I like to turn it off from time to time uh, just to help save on some power so what I want to do is actually set up a different uh, method of controlling that uh, that quarry that's in the nether and I'm going to do that by using a wireless transmitter and a wireless receiver and this is just going to take a few pieces here a couple of these a couple of those what does this take oh the obsidian tool rod all right um, that, dang it there's another recipe for this the obsidian stick there we go one two good and then we'll make the transmitter and the receiver nothing too complicated here just takes a few few pieces and parts Jeez, come on. Good grief. There we go. All right, and the way this works, let's just go ahead and grab some redstone there, is um, this allows me to send a redstone signal across a wireless connection. So if we take our receiver and we plop it down here, and you see it's got numbers on it. If we right click it, it's actually uh, it has frequencies. So I can set it to 100 and then come here and do the same thing with the transmitter. Set it to 100. If I come over here with a lever and over here with a piece of redstone, you'll see right now it's off. As soon as I turn it on, the signal goes across and turns on the redstone, full power. Pretty neat, huh? Well, that's what I want to do. Except I want to do this across dimensions, which I can do just fine. Uh, I want to put this somewhere. Uh, let's go ahead and put it here for now. So there's our wireless transmitter. We'll leave it on channel 100. And we will turn it on. Or off. Yeah, we'll leave it off. Uh, and now need to head over to the nether to where our quarry is and configure it okay in the nether and somewhere over here Ooh, hey hey guy come here you ouch guys are nice to uh, in case they need some magma cream or anything just no maybe I don't know uh, let me see oh yeah I had a little bit of a computer problem and um, 
ended up reformatting my computer and realized that I lost all of my waypoints. So I think I remember how to get to the quarry. Let me fly around here for a bit and see if I can find it. Yeah, I'll be right back. Uh, that's a good sign that uh, we may have found a quarry. <laughs> Unnatural flowing lava. Yes, there it is. Or at least here's the result of it. So it's been busy, as we can see. Um, should be over here somewhere. There's one of the markers. There it is. Ow, ouch. Come on, let me out. There we go. One quarry. Nice and neat. Ta-da! So, I will actually create myself a new waypoint. There we go. So we have that. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go ahead, oh lord, I forgot how fast this thing is. Um, that's like super pick. Jesus. Okay, so I'm going to set this guy to function on a high signal. And we'll put our receiver down, like so. If I can get... Come on. There we go. Like so. Put him on channel 100. And now we have a way of controlling the quarry at all times. So let's head back home. It takes a little bit longer to teleport. And you can see it uses quite a bit more when it jumps dimensions. But our wireless charger is getting us filled back up. So now I should be able to flip this on. And that shouldn't have any ill effect. Should still be filling up, I believe. No, it is draining. A thousand. Oh, that's probably because of that spawner. But if we go over here and look at the chest, it should not be... Yeah, we don't have anything coming into the chest. That's good. Until we go down here and turn this on. Once we turn that on, we should see a much higher draw on our power. And we should have items blown in. Perfect. Just like that. So that's good. Now we have a way of controlling the quarry from this dimension. Cool. All right. So I want to go take a look and see how we're doing here. I had a thought while I was setting that up that I was doing this all wrong. So I'm going to take this bucket of slime. I'm going to run over here. And I'm going to drop it right there. And I'm going to wait for the pink slime to spawn. And I'm going to catch him in a safari net. And why would I do that? Well, very simply, it's because I think I can shortcut the uh, spawning process. Come on, buddy. Please? Pretty please? He knows what I want to do. There he is. Got him. So, now what I can do is go over to our cabinet here. Take the blaze out. Let's see, what do, who am I up to now? I've got Enderman, Blaze, Blizz, and Ghast. So, I've got a little bit of everybody. Let's just go ahead and send him in. And we should... Oh, that's just a spider. Aha! Perfect. Pink slimes. Spawning like crazy. Ha 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 ha. Very nice. So, yeah, I don't need this anymore. I can turn this all off. Excellent. That is going to spawn those guys like mad. Very good. 
Well, that ought to speed up my uh, pink slime acquisition process. And let that run for a while. We're going to turn off the uh, cow spawner in there because that's not not necessary. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I do that sometimes. I overcomplicate things. So turn this guy off. Pull the cow out for good measure. And put that back. Cool. Uh, let's change that out. Not you, you. I don't know why I grabbed a single block of stone. Those guys are super noisy. <laughs> We're already up to 35. So that's going to do pretty well. And get me some pink slime, which I need to make the laser drills. That we'll have to wait for next episode. Because it is that time. So. Not sure why those aren't getting picked up. I guess maybe because I'm standing here. Anyway. This is Wolrig. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.